All right, let's jump into this. It's a bit of a roller coaster, honestly. Gravitons, the fundamental particle that hypothetically transmits gravity according to the laws of quantum mechanics. They're often described as what would complete the so-called quantum gravity puzzle, merging Einstein's theory of general relativity with quantum mechanics. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? But here we are in 2025 and physicists are still ripping their hair out trying to even detect a single one of these elusive particles. Or worse, they're debating if it's even possible to do so. Now what gives? Is modern physics overpromising something it fundamentally can't deliver? Let me explain why honestly. Detecting even a single graviton is probably, just flat out, physically impossible. Okay, so first, why do we even care about gravitons? Why is detecting them such a big deal? Well, gravity, our oldest, most familiar force, is deeply ingrained in our understanding of the universe. It's what makes apples fall and planets orbit. You know this. But while gravity feels so intuitive in everyday life, in physics, it's the odd one out. Quantum mechanics works fantastically for tiny scales, atoms and particles, while general relativity governs the vast cosmic scales of stars and black holes. These frameworks are brilliant, but they just don't play nice when smashed together. Gravity refuses to fit neatly into the quantum world, and gravitons, theoretically, should bridge this gap. They're the quantum bits of the gravitational field, Imagine them as messengers, like photons for electromagnetic forces, except here, they'd be carrying the power of gravity across space-time. If we could detect a single graviton, it would be groundbreaking evidence for quantum gravity. But, as with all things in theoretical physics, there's a catch. Let's start with the big issue. Gravitons are theorized to have an unimaginably weak interaction with matter. I mean, Weak doesn't even do it justice. Compared to, let's say, photons in your everyday visible light, gravitons are like a whisper in a hurricane. They interact so slightly with, well, anything, that to detect them directly might require experimental apparatus about the size of, wait for it, the entire Milky Way. That's not hyperbole. Scientists have estimated that to pick up just one graviton with any meaningful signal, you'd need a detector so massive and sensitive that it becomes utterly impractical. Why? Because gravity itself is so, so weak. Ever notice how it takes the entire mass of the Earth to create the gravity that glues you to its surface? Meanwhile, one measly electron can build up enough electric charge to make your hair stick to a balloon. And there's more bad news. Quantum mechanics tells us the detection of particles, like photons or gravitons, involves a trade-off called the uncertainty principle. This means that the act of measuring something as delicate as a graviton could fundamentally disrupt it. So let's imagine you somehow built this absurdly massive galaxy-sized detector. Congratulations, but here's the kicker. The energy required to operate such an instrument might be so high that it floods the system with noise, swamping any signal from the graviton itself. Remember, gravitons aren't just hard to detect. They're whispers behind an ear-splitting roar of cosmic background noise. This isn't just inconvenient. It might make the whole idea theoretically impossible, regardless of technological advances. Now you might be thinking, hang on, human ingenuity has overcome impossible odds before, right? Absolutely. But technological optimism works best when the laws of physics don't fundamentally stand in the way. Here, the problem isn't engineering. It's that the interaction strength of a single graviton plummets far below our current capacity to measure. In fact, it's so weak that even if our civilization advanced a million years further in science and technology, we might still come up short. Think about that for a second. This isn't like detecting a black hole merger with gravitational waves. Another incredible feat, by the way. This is several orders of magnitude harder. So where does this leave physicists? Is this pursuit completely doomed? Well, not necessarily. The inability to directly detect single gravitons doesn't mean we stop trying to understand them. In physics, indirect evidence has often been the key. Take the Higgs boson. 
Long before the discovery at CERN in 2012, particle physicists predicted its existence by carefully studying its effects within the standard model. Similarly, instead of looking for individual gravitons, we might analyze their collective behavior, say, how gravitational waves interact, or how space-time subtly ripples around massive bodies. We get hints, shadows, impressions of gravitons, even if we can't hear their direct whispers. It's a bit like trying to study wind. You can't see it directly, but you see the leaves move. And there's another twist. Some physicists propose that maybe gravitons, as enticing as they sound, don't even exist as individual particles. What if gravity isn't even quantum in nature? Bear with me here. There are alternative theories of gravity, from emergent gravity to quantum field models that treat space-time itself as more of a continuous fluid without discrete packets. If that's the case, looking for a single graviton becomes an exercise in futility. It's like searching for something that isn't even there. That said, most mainstream physicists still strongly believe in gravitons, and for good reason. Quantum physics predicts that if a force exists, then it's likely mediated by some particle. But the difference with gravity is that its extraordinary weakness makes it an outlier. It's a force that obeys its own bizarre set of rules. Think of gravity as the shy sibling in a room full of loud, emphatic interactions like electromagnetism. Here's another fun wrinkle. Even if gravitons did exist and could theoretically be detected, such detection experiments might cause space-time itself to ripple or collapse, or so some theoretical models speculate. It sounds like science fiction, right? Yet this adds a certain existential risk factor. What if probing this frontier changes the structure of reality at fundamental scales? That's speculative, of course, but worth considering. Sometimes nature withholds secrets for very good reasons. But here's where I want to leave you, and maybe inspire you. The impossibility of direct detection doesn't close the case. Science thrives on working around impossible constraints. If we can't hear the whispers directly, we tune ourselves to hear their echoes. If we can't see the particles, we map out their footprints. The journey to understanding gravity and its quantum roots is still in its adolescence. Gravitons, detectable or not, are part of a larger tapestry that physics is trying to weave together. I mean, how is that not captivating? If this got your neurons firing, you're in the right place. Hyperfocus is about diving deep into topics like this without watering them down. I know this video perhaps added layers of frustration, but hey, that's science. It's messy, sometimes cruel to our hopes, always tantalizing to our curiosity. So, if you want more deep dives, Subscribe, like, and drop a comment below. What do you think? Should physicists spend their careers chasing something they might never observe? I'd love to know your take. Stay hyper-focused, and gravity might be the weakest force, but it sure grips our imagination tightly.